Okay, what we're looking at here today is uh, is five quarter by six jam and headstock. Uh, we'll be looking at the graded number three shop. Uh, the number three shop we're grading under the WWPA Western Lumber Grading Rules, paragraph 97. Uh, three shop. Uh, what we're looking for here is is uh, two different. Th uh, well, actually, a number of different things, but. First off, we start off with finger joint. Finger joint cuttings are cuttings that are to be finger jointed into longer pieces and then manufactured into different uh, paint grade type moldings or other products. Uh, and finger joint moldings, we have to have, those are 10 inches and longer uh, and uh, free for characteristics except for stain. We try to minimize the stain to a lighter degree uh, so when the, the finger joint material is primered it, it will actually cover the stain it doesn't telegraph to or, or uh, you cannot see the stain underneath um, the other way that we might yield a three shop would be through uh, jam cuttings which are the surround around the door is a jam if we can uh, if we can get a jam cutting out of it we will take that uh, most jam cuttings uh, will go into a uh, into a uh, two and better shop that uh, if we have less than 25 percent and we have it in combination with some molding ribs or or window sash cuttings and we can we can uh, get that into a number three shop category okay uh, other than uh, finger joint uh, we, we finger joint something has to be considered by itself we don't we can't take that in combination with uh, window cuttings which is sash, called sash cuttings. They're two and a half inches in wider but 28 inches and in longer uh, and we only need a, a third of the volume in, in those or 30 percent. Uh, in uh, the other item that we might look for in a piece of three shop would be a molding rib. Molding ribs are two inches long but they, they have to be 10 foot in length and uh, in this particular length here this is 10 foot so a molding rib would have to be a, a full length rib, two inches wide. You can take the probably on the inside of it, not full length. Um, and those, uh, those are the three different things. Uh, excuse me, for finger joint, 50% of the volume. Uh, if you don't, if you can't get in that, then you look for sash cuttings, jam cuttings, uh, and molding ribs. Uh, molding ribs, sash cuttings, and window cut, uh, window cuttings, and. Uh, jam cuttings we only have to have 30 percent where finger joint we have to have 50 percent so as we go through I'll try to clarify that a little bit and we'll go from there so uh, uh, you, and one other thing your uh, sash or window cutting your jam cuttings have to be free of characteristics molding it's graded under the molding rules where you could have a small blemish or or something of that degree as long as it uh, didn't create a major defect so uh, we'll go through and Great the lumber as we go through it. Try to explain anything that looks out of the ordinary. This here uh, piece of lumber has very light, uh, what we call needle fleck in it. Uh, it would, it's uh, that piece of that type of material which should go into finger joint without a problem. So we would put that into a three shop and, and, and uh, cut finger joint material out of. Here we have a, 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 a door, a jam cutting here that's probably 25 inches long, but it's not a third of the volume. It's almost, but not quite. So we would just take finger joint cuttings out of that. We'd call it a piece of finger joint rather than uh, a jam cutting. We have another one here. So uh, we, we have 50% of the volume, so it's a piece of three shop. probably get that into a long jam cutting which would make a two shot but in the grader's opinion it was too much so we have to respect his opinion so we would take a you know a jam cutting here and probably a jam cutting here uh, here and that would give us uh, enough for a two shot so actually that board's a you know above grade it's a piece of two shot
can't take finger joint. Finger joint cuttings have to be full width. So here we take our sash cutting, which will be inside, which will be about full five inches. Another one here, and down to this here. And uh, over here we would take another one, so we could uh, we could get that into a three shot due to sash cuttings, which require a third of the volume. Again, because of the damage on the edge, we would have to take that damage as away. So we'd take inside cuttings, call them sash cuttings, and uh, have plenty of wood cutting value for a three shot. Again, we got way down the edge. And again, we're going to have to take inside inside ribs for sash cuttings, but that board there has a lot of cutting value in it. A piece of three shot. Here again, we, we're going to have to take a, a combination of, of, uh, of uh, jam cuttings and sash cuttings. Take an inside rip here to get rid of the wane. Here we're going to take a full width jam cutting. Here we'll take a cutting inside, which should give us a, a sash cutting, which will give us plenty of cutting value for a three shot. short jam cutting, probably a sash window cutting on the inside of the stain, so we have a piece of three shot. Here we have finger joint cuttings, we have to have 50% of volume again. That will be stained, but that there stain will go right into the cutting. So we take, you can see with 10 inches long or 10 inch cutting, we can take some pretty Pretty short cuttings in there to get our 50 percent. Again, uh, you know, we take we have a, a manufacturing defect there, but we we can take either finger joint or we could take window cuttings, sash cuttings, another finger joint, or we could take sash. Either way, we wanted to go on that board, it would cut out really a nice three shot. Cutting, but we can take window cutting or sash cuttings, which are two and a half inches and wider by 28 inches and longer. We have a, a whole lot more than a third the volume of that board. Three shot. Here we just have a natural finger joint board. We cut the notch out. Uh, here, see here, we cut we just. And they'll finger joint back together makes a beautiful folding uh, three shot. Here because of the stain, we're gonna take that into finger joint, uh, or we could you know cut on the inside of it here and take sash cutting. Uh, more finger joint down there, we want to take finger joint, but we'll just uh, cut it out in sash cutting to call it three shot. Here we have Wayne. We can take a 28 inch sash cutting on the inside of the Wayne, or we could, uh, you know, just uh, take a door cutting here, or, uh, which would be a jam cutting. And the same here. So that's a piece of three shot. Here again we have Wayne, so we're not going to be able to take anything but a window sash cuttings. Probably a four, four or five inch rip here, and then we'll take a narrow in there, all the way to the end. So that gives us more than a third or thirty percent. Same here, wane on the edge, and we're taking window cuttings down in between the knots and the wane. Here we could uh, because there's a lot of little light stain there. We're just going to take finger joint cuttings all the way down. That board there, uh, 
has some small blemishes on it, so we're going to put that in the finger joint on a three shot. Again, we have Wayne, so we're going to be ripping, get our sash window cuttings out of it, inside the Wayne, inside the knob, down, so three shot. Same here, we're ripping to get our sash window cuttings out of it. Uh, here we're going to have to go inside those knots. And over here we have to go over here. So anyway, it's a piece of three shop. Same here. Uh, we'll take some finger joint. We can get 50% of the volume of finger joint. So we'll just call it three shop. Here, because of the weight on the edge, we're going to end up taking maybe a jam cutting here and then a window sash cutting there to get our, 30, our, our third. Here we have a, a cutting here to here. There, that, that cutting is over 42 inches long and it's over 25% of the volume, so that's a piece of two shot. Here we have stains, so we're just going to take finger joint down the length of it and call it a three shot. This board here has a, a 42 inch cutting in it, which makes it a two shot. jam cutting. Down here we have a, a piece of window window sash which will give us a 30 percent of the volume. It have to be kind of tricky cutting this out but I think if we have our 30 percent of in sash cutting if we move it around. Stain, so we'll take that as finger joint, cut it out 50% of the volume, three shot. Here we have some needle effect or light, maybe real light uh, defect that will be covered up by primer. It'll be three shot. Same here, we have some light stain throughout the board, nice 10 inch lumber cutting, three shot finger joint. Same here, finger joint uh, cutting, three shot. Here we can uh, either cut it in finger joint, uh, we'd be close to getting 50%, but we definitely get it by taking sash cuttings on the, can't take the stain in the sash cutting, but it's really bright and it's about eight foot long, so about four inches wide. So that's a good, more than a half of your volume in sash cutting, three shot. Here we have a cutting that's really close to a 42, but I think it's only about a 36, so uh, we, uh, well, I think we'll just take uh, maybe the whole thing and finger jointing, finger joint cutting, for sure it's a three shot. Here we have a, cut, a jam cutting there and finger joint here, so I think we'll just cut the whole thing and finger joint. Call it three shot. This one, the knots are too close together for finger joint, but we have a nice clear sash rip here. And uh, we have another one down here on the side, and then one back here too. So it's a piece of three shot. Again, here's a board we're going to have to cut sash cuttings out of it. Rip it here. Down here we rip it. Probably come back with one here. So piece of three shot. Same here. The hard center.
is laying it here over here on the edge, so it's a lot of a lot of knock down the edge, which is a lot of clear wood out in here, which gives us a, a three shot for sash cutting. Here we have stain on the edge. Uh, I think the best thing for that would just be to cut it all in the finger joint. Here we have weighing down the edge, so it alleviates the finger joint. Situation, so we have to cut the sash cuttings out of it. Go inside the way, inside that pocket. Then we got a, at least we got a lot of value in that for cutting back. Here we got a little bit of arbor offset here, so we can take the sash cutting on the inside of that, uh, and also down here on the inside. Down here on the inside, so we we cut a three shop out of that. Now that board uh, has a heart center down one edge of it. It's got numerous little knots. Uh, I don't have enough here to get by for a sash cutting. I don't have the 28 inches for a sash cutting. I don't have any finger joint. The only cutting I have in that board is possibly right here, but that's not enough for a third. So that piece will not grade three shot. Here we have a, a jam cutting, which is almost looks like 48 inches. That's a piece of two shot. Here we have sash cuttings taken down the sides, or we could actually cut that in the finger joint also. Three sides. Same here we cut finger joint or sash cuttings, either one. Three sides. Here because of the weight down the side, we've got to take it, got to take sash cuttings out of it. So, three shots. Here we have a, a door, uh, a jam cutting here, but we have some uh, planer offset here, so we're not going to be able to get that into full width cutting. So we'll just cut it in the finger joint uh, there. Take this in the finger joint, get our 50%, call it three, three shot. Here we can take finger joint cuttings down here on this end and get our 50% of the volume. Here we have weighing down the edge, so we'll take our sash cuttings on this other side all the way down. cuttings, piece of three shot. Finger joint cuttings, just cut the knots out. Looks like a piece of a three shot for sash cuttings, go in between the way and down the outside and the edge of the way. Here we can take a, a jam. Door jam here, sash cuttings down there, three shot. Piece here has a beautiful door cutting from here up to there. That's a beautiful piece of two shot. Same here, we have a, at least a 42 inch cutting there. Well, we do have a, a, a machine damage here, so that cutting is short enough. So that's why the grader put it in there. So we would have to take that as sash cuttings down in between the wane and on the other side of this bar. So it's a piece of three shot. This board here uh, would be one that we would, uh, because there's no 
defect in it other than the wane. It has full length clear ribs, so we would take that as molding ribs. You have to have two thirds of the volume and ten foot and longer ribs. There's nothing there to stop. You know, we got we got about seventy or eighty percent of it in ten foot and longer clear ribs. So nice piece of three shot for molding ribs. Okay, here we'd just be better off because of the light stain and it's just a cross cut it for a finger joint block. This piece here, I don't see anything to keep it out of a two shop. We have a, we have a defect there, and we have at least a four foot cutting from here to there, which would be a beautiful piece of two shop. Here we have a little bit of light stain and a little bit of wane. Uh, I think we can get, even cut around the wane and still get 50% finger joint block. Three shot. Same here, we have a lot of light stain in it. Uh, just cross cut it for finger joint, 50%. Here we have a, a little bit of season check in here. I think we're going to have to go inside that for sash, there all the way down, and then I think down here we can go sash, and in the middle, it's going to be real close, but it, it looks like a three shot. Here we have some light stain, cross cut down there for finger joint, get our 50% cutting. Same with here, we cut in between these knots. Our 50% cutting value. And here it looks like we have a nice long cutting, but we do have a little a, a manufacturing mar there, which then we just, we'll just cross cut it for, get our get our finger joint block out of it, 50% for a three shot. This one we have weighing on both edges. The only hope that we have is to be able to rip a sash cutting out, out of the center and we get into that stain we, we can't get sash cutting but I believe without measuring it out we have a third of it in sash cutting without the stain. Here we have a little bit of stain, a little light blemishes, and a nice finger joint board, three shot. Same here with the light blemishes. They look like real light, tiny birds. I did not cut them in the telegram through the fine. So, uh, nice three shot. Uh, again, light stain, finger joint, three shot. Again, we have some light stain, finger joint, three shot. down there but this board would probably be better being uh, ripped into sash cutting and taking the right sash cutting. Nice board. Little uh, manufacturing more on the side there. We can, we can cross cut a jam cutting there, sash cutting down that edge. Rip so nice three shot. Here I, we have to cut between the knots for finger joint and block, three shot. Uh, this is, looks like we could uh, take a jam cutting here in between the, the knots and maybe a sash cutting back here. So a piece of three shot, close to a two. Here we have some machine damage down one edge in the form of weight looking material. So we'd take a sash cutting down the other side, all clear wood, uh, at least 30% uh, of the volume. So three shot. Here, uh, we're going to have to work to get this one. Uh, I think we have 28 inches from here down. We have. Here we have sash, 
And here we have sash. It's really close, but I think it'll make the three shop when we measure it out. Here we have a, a nice cutting right here. All the way down to there. Piece of two shop. Here we have a stain that takes us out of the uh, sash, although we can't get one piece of sash there. And sash down the middle here. And then the sash down this edge. It'll cut out to three shop, it's real close. Here we've got a nice cutting here. All the way down to that knot, that's a piece of two shop. Here we don't have nothing. We 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 don't we got have we have stain here. Not enough room in here for finger joints. Uh, no ten inches here. We have a sash cutting here. That's the only board cutting we have in the whole board. Uh, the stain down there alleviates sash. So. It's a, it's a, it won't make three shop. Here we have Wayne down this edge and then down there. It's on the other edge. So we take sash cutting on this side down there. We go to take sash on the other side. Three shop. Here we uh, we, got, we have about half of the board in stained finger joint material, so 50% uh, of stained finger joint makes us a three shot. Uh, here we have uh, enough stain in it that we, we have one jam cutting here, but that's not enough to give us a third. It's almost, but not quite. We don't have anything to go with it. Finger joint three shot. Another piece of finger joint three shot. Another piece of finger joint three shot for light stain. That's a small blemish, nice finger joint material. Really barely perceptible, so uh, piece of three shot finger joint. Here we got some pineapple damage down the side. It's a the feeding mechanism for the lumber through the planer. It makes a, a mark down the edge. It's too deep to consider it as part of the cutting. So we got to cut around that. We'll just rip it and take the clear portion out for sash cutting to get a piece of a three shop on it. Same with this board. We have pineapple damage. We're going to have to check on Take down down the edge. We can take it for fast cutting. Let's get a three shot. Here we have a light stain down there, so we'll just cut finger joint down for a three shot. Same here. Just uh, maybe fast cutting down one edge, down this edge. Forget the finger joint. Just go fast cutting. Same here, we just take sash all the way down the edge, get a third out of it. This one we cut into finger joints because of the knots for construction. This one we have to take on the sash cutting. The knots are too close together on the one edge, but we can, we can cut on the side over here. And here, clear wood, good sash cutting. Here we have some, uh, Actually, I think we're all right there. I think that, ought, that should have gone into a two shop. That's a nice clear cutting. Here we 
here. We have knots are too close together for finger joint. We have to take down the edge and take the sash cuttings. We have enough for three shots. Here we just cut finger joint because of the light stain in it. Same here, we have a little bit of light stain, but it's not very dark, so it's three shot finger joint. Same here, we just cut finger joint. Three shot. Same here, we just cut finger joint. Get our 50%. Finger joint, three shot. Same here, finger joint, three shot. Same here, light, small, very light defect, cross cut finger joint. Here we'll take sash cuttings on the inside of the stain all the way down there, cross over to the other side, take one down the other side until we get to the stain. Best thing would be finger joint in between the knots. I get our 50% 10 inch longer cut. Same here with this cross cut finger joint. Here we have to take sash cuttings down that edge all the way to the center and cut the knot out and keep going. Here we take sash cuttings down to one side. Back here we come up, that's ass cutting to like three shots. Same here with weighing down one edge, the only thing we have is sash cutting, and we do have enough of them to start cutting them out. So that's we have uh, enough for finger joint cutting down on the other end, so we can three shot finger. Here. Yeah, because of the weighing, we have sash cutting on both ends of that knot, so we're all right for three shot. Here we have a little bit of damage on the edge, so we'll take a sash cutting all the way down. A nice board. Here we'll take the finger joint cuttings all the way down in between the knots. center all the way down. We may have a sash cutting here and maybe one down there, but it's not enough for a third so, or a 30 percent, so it, does, it won't make it a three shot. Here we'll just cross cut for three shot. Same here with little light stains, we'll cross cut for three shot. Here we have a door cutting here and a sash rip here. So a piece, piece of three shot. Have Wayne down that the edge over there on that side. We've got a sash cutting there and probably a sash cutting here. So it's a three shot. Here we have light stains with this cross cutter for finger work. combination of door cutting here and then a sash rip down the middle. So piece of three shot. Here uh, there's too many blemishes in it for sash and we have Wayne down one edge so it won't make a three shot. Cross cut for a three shot. Same here with cross cut for three shot. Here we have way down one edge, so we have to rip for a piece of a three shot sash. Same here, we 
ripper for three stop shafts. Here we have light stain, so we cross cut it for finger joint. Here we have weighing down one edge, so we rip for fast. Same here, we have weighing down one edge, so we rip for fast. Same with this one, ripping for sash cutting. Same with this one, ripping for sash cutting. A lot of clear wood value. Finger joint. Same there, we cut a cross cut. Wayne down one edge, leave it in my finger joint. Uh, you won't make three shots, it's really close. To Here we have some light blemishes, so we just cost cut for finger joint. Uh, here we rip, rip down the one edge for sash. Cross cut for finger joint this one also.